Millions of people all over the world dig gold. They often wonder if they're getting a fair price for what they find. Three things determine what a miner gets for his or her gold. First, the purity of the gold. Second, the weight of the gold. And third, what the middleman whom the miner sells it to is willing to pay them. First, purity. Gold can be found stuck together with other minerals such as silica or quartz or it can be found combined with other metals. The safest and easiest way to release the gold is for the rock to be crushed and ground to be fine enough to pass through a one half millimeter wide screen. Grinding, crushing, and purifying will be covered in other videos. However, have you also noticed that sometimes gold is orangey or whitish in color? A lot of gold found contains another metal, such as silver or copper which makes it impure. Even the gold that looks shiny and yellow often contains impurities and is worth much less. So what the gold is truly worth is not known by either the miner or the buyer until it's refined later. Second, miners need to know the exact weight of their gold. Since most gold found is in very small amounts, it's important to have scales that can accurately measure it. The easiest way to weigh the gold is against something else whose weight is already known, like a coin or even matchsticks, depending on the amount of gold. When the amount of gold is very small, like the size of specks, there is little way of knowing its exact weight or purity. There are also more modern scales available. Third, miners should know what their gold is worth. The global price of gold changes every day and is decided on the world's big gold markets. This is the price for pure gold. The price can go up or down quite a lot over a short period of time, so it's important to know what is happening on that day. The current price is announced daily on the London Bullion Market Association website online at www.lbma.org.uk. Obviously, the middlemen who buy the miners' gold have to make at least some profit. Sometimes they try to make a great deal of profit. But they also have legitimate expenses like transportation and payment for their time. And they ask themselves questions like, are there enough miners in the area to make it worth it to go there? And about the overall number of buyers there, meaning competition, which can lower their profits. The middlemen themselves may have to sell it to another buyer, so the original miner does not get full market price. If the world price of gold goes down, the local and national price goes down that much too. But there are other ways for miners to get the best price they can. Knowing the purity, weight, and value puts miners in a much stronger bargaining position with the buyers. Second, miners can talk to the Department of Geological Survey and Mines in Morado Town for information on purity gold prices and contacts for licensed buyers. And finally, if there's a group of miners who know each other well and trust one another, they can consider coming together to use collective bargaining to seek a better, fairer price.